Hello and welcome to this video on Copal Studio, Azure API Management, the Model Context Protocol, and obviously SAP here on our SAP on Azure YouTube channel. In previous videos, we had shown how an SAP O data service exposed via an early version of Azure API Management's MCP support can be consumed in GitHub Copilot. In this video, we will use the latest functionalities of the MCP support in Azure API Management and the new Copilot Studio functionality to consume MCP servers with access to your SAP system. Let's take a look. As before, we'll start with the GW Sample Basic Service. Um, this is a service that is available in almost all SAP systems. And by just entering dollar metadata, you can easily get the metadata information of this um, OData service. Now, what we'll do is we'll take the metadata information, we'll use the OData transformer, we'll just paste um, the OData specification in here, we need to remove the first line, then we can just um, convert to an open API specification and download this new file. So this is now called open API spec one JSON. With this, I'm going to Azure API management. In my case, I, I have um, yeah, initiated a new Azure API management. This is a basic version two um, SKU. And from this SKU, I can now import the API as an open API specification. Um, keep in mind, I, there is OData, but um, importing an API via OData currently does not yet support MCP, this MCP preview. So that's why I needed to go via the open API specification. So again, just select the file, this open API spec, I click on OK. And now I can just provide here a name, I'll give it a suffix, I'll call it PM4 um, GW sample basic, and I click on create. Now the API has been created, I can see here the different um, operations that are available. What I want to do now as a first step is I want to actually enable authentication. Um, actually, it is kind of a single sign on, but I want to hard code a user. Obviously, we could use here um, the whole single sign on policy that we have, which is really the power of using MCP in the context of Azure API management, because here via the policies, we have access to everything that we need. So what I'll do is I'll just enter here or hard code um, um, a user. So I'll take the username um, from the named value pair, the password from the named value pair. Again, in a, in a more production ready setup, I would um, enter here the single sign on configuration, which takes the um, token from Entra ID, um, converts this into an SAP token, and then we have really a single sign on flow. From my first demo, especially here with this GW sample basic, um, we'll just use this hard coded username and password. Now, the next thing that I want to change is that I'm fine actually in anyone getting access to this. So typically what you could do, you could also um, enter here as a requirement that you need to pass on an API key. But for me, again, this is all also not required because we are talking about a simple demo. Again, in a productive environment, you might want to change this and, and have here a better authentication and production, production flow. With this, I'm all good and I can already go to the MCP service preview tab. In here, now it's getting really easy. I can just say expose an API as an M MCP server. And from this drop down, I can actually see now our GW sample basic service that we just created. If I click here on the operations, you can see there are a lot of operations that I could select. For now, what I'll do is I'll just stick with the business partner, maybe the product and maybe um, the sales order set. I think that's, that's we'll just start with the three um, operations here. For this, I can give it a name. We call it um, GW sample, um, what did it be? B product, business partner, and SAP sales orders. And we can type here in, in a description. This service returns business partner, sales order, and production information um, from an SAP system. With this, I can click on create and our MCP server is ready to be consumed. So now I can just click on copy and switch over to my Copilot Studio. In Copilot Studio, I'll start a completely new agent. So I click on um, create new 
and I'll leave everything as it is, or maybe let, let's give it this a new name, MCP, SCP, lookup information. So once the agent has been provisioned, I can just click on tools, add a tool, and now I want to connect to my Azure API management. So what I'll do is I click on model context protocol. I'll provide here the server URL. So keep in mind, this is this URL here that we have here from our Azure API management solution. I will give it a name. I'll give it a description. And now potentially I could provide an API key or I could provide an OAuth authentication flow with the right policy in Azure API management. For now, I'll just click on create. So now we have the connection established. Um, we only need to, or the, the, the basic pipes connected. What we now need to do is we actually need to create a connection to this specific API um, management MCP server. So I just click on create. Um, here potentially the authentication, the single sign on flow would come in but then I can just click on add and configure and we're basically done. So now I have the integration of this MCP server in Copilot Studio. So if I now ask a specific question, um, show me five sales orders. Well, actually, since this, this is the very first time we call it and potentially um, we now have a single sign on scenario in place or uh, different connections, what I need to do is I need to open connection manager and I need to actually, in my user context, need to connect here. So again, this would be potentially where a user provides their own username and password or um, where, where we have, again, this single sign on flow um, configured. But now the connection is really there. So if I go back to Copal Studio, okay, let, let's hit on um, refresh again. And now ask the question again, show me five sales orders. And now the cool thing again happens. So I see on the left hand side the flow that the right MCP server was taken. Then from this MCP server, the right tool, the sales order tool was um, selected. And now I can get here a list of five um, sales orders. Obviously, since we have products and business partners as well, I can also ask, show me seven business partners. And again, hopefully the MCP server is selected. Now a new tool to get entities from business partner set is selected and I get the business partners. And finally, um, if I ask, show me the most expensive product, then again, the entity from product set is selected. And you can also see that it provided top dollar one and it even filtered by price descending. So or it ordered by price descending. And now obviously here I get um, this Power Pro player, 80 whatever, a very expensive MP MP3 player apparently and back from my SAP system. So with this, I hope I was able to show you how easy it is to connect your Azure API management system to an SAP system. Potentially, if the SAP system is running on Azure, you, you can leverage VNet peering there as well. Then create an MCP server out of this. And finally, within a few clicks, connect this MCP server in Copal Studio. And from here, obviously, I could now publish this to Teams, to M365 Copilot, or to any other site, maybe to a, to a website, to a SharePoint site, to, to a native app that you have. So, so once you have this integration in Copilot Studio, you can really publish this anywhere. Thank you very much for watching.